ladies, it's Tina here, and it's been a very long time since I did a video, but I wanted to share with you an altered frame that I just made. Um, I got the frame at a thrift store, and I'm going to a baby shower tomorrow, and um, my nephew and his wife are having a baby. Um, of course, it's a girl, and they... Um, have chosen the colors um, lilac and white um, for the nursery so I made the frame um, I put some um, eyelet trim around the edges here um, well first of all I sanded the frame and then I gessoed it and then I painted it with um, I think it's called Craft Smart or something like that, but anyway, it's like a grape color paint, and then I adhered the um, eyelet trim around the uh, frame. I'm not sure where I got this um, eyelet trim. I've had it for a long time in my stash, and then also the purple with the um, satin. It's really pretty. Um, I got that in a rack um, last year, the year before, and I apologize. I'm not really sure who sent it to me, but it worked out beautifully for this frame. And then the pearl um, trim that goes around uh, the frame as well came from Hobby Lobby. And then the real delicate um, lace that you see that goes around the inner part of the frame right here. Um, that is some lace trim that I got. Um, it's Martha Stewart. I got two packages of that um, last year in a haul that I did around Christmas time. And they... It's normally like $9.99, and I got it 70% off, so I was really excited about that. Um, so anyway, I put that around the frame, and I adhered this butterfly here on the top, and some of Misty's um, flowers. She's shabby, beautiful scrapbooking. Um, she has a shop on Zibit. She has some gorgeous flowers. They come in purple and uh, pink and cream. So I used her flowers on all the corners of the frame. And then, of course, this little um, piece here is jewel and pearls. And you can get those at the wedding section at Hobby Lobby. So I've used those behind each one of my flowers on the edges of the frame. And um, the heart here sticking out, um, those were gifted to me by um, the lovely P, who is Whimsical Endeavors. Um, she um, gifted me, sent me a rack um, last year, and those hearts were in that rack. So thank you, P, for that. Um, it worked out perfectly in this um, frame. I just love it. And I distressed it a little bit with the Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Dusty Concord. And that's about it. This frame, as soon as I decided what I was going to do with it, Everything just went together really, really quickly. Um, I used a lot of hot glue, and um, after tackling the glue strings, <laughs> it went together real well. So I was really pleased how um, it turned out. The paper in the middle of the frame, um, I just wanted to put that there instead of just having, you know, plain glass. Um, that is Graphic 45's uh, Secret Garden. So, anyway, um, that is all I have for you all today. Um, I do have some more videos coming up. I have finally finished my 
banner um, that P sent to me last year. I'm ashamed to say I just now finished it, uh, but I was very intimidated by it because um, I didn't want to mess it up. But um, I finally got in there and um, got going with it and got a lot of great ideas um, from her and I just jumped right in there and uh, finished it up and um, I really really love how it turned out and I had a great time doing it so that will probably be my next video um, I have a busy weekend uh, my husband's birthday is tomorrow so we'll be celebrating it plus I have the baby shower tomorrow and then my daughter's birthday um, she'll be 13 on Wednesday so um, got a lot going on this weekend and next week but anyway I hope to uh, throw in a video sometime next week so um, thanks for watching and thank you for subscribing and I hope you all have a blessed day Talk to you soon. Bye.